if you are having an anxiety or panic attack, I can stop it right now. First of all, I need you to take three deep breaths. The proviso being, I need you to exhale for longer than you inhale. So, with me, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hold at the top. Let it go. Perfect, my friend. Okay, one, two, three. Hold at the top. Let it go. Perfect, okay. One, two, three. Hold at the top and let it go. Okay, good. Exhaling for longer than you inhale uh, activates the calming centers in the brain, it brings your heart rate right down. So, what I need you to do next is to tell me on a scale of 1 to 10 how bad your anxiety or panic is. Okay, keep that in your mind. Now, I'm going to get you to close your eyes in a second or two, but before I do that, can I get you to hold your hand out in front of you like that? Doesn't matter where, I'm just doing it for the camera. If you hold your hand out like this, okay. Keep it held out for me. And now, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now, I would like you to imagine where in your body your anxiety, stroke, panic is. It might be located in your head. It might be in your chest. I get it in my throat. Ah, uh, your belly. Where you get the butterflies. Wherever it is, I'd like you to locate it and I would like you to give it a shape. Is it big? Is it uh, small but energetic? Is it spiky? Is it round? What kind of a shape is it? Now, I'd like you to give the anxiety a colour. What colour is this anxiety? It could be blue, red, purple, green, yellow. Let's give it any colour. Okay, good. Now, how is it moving, this anxiety, in your body? Is it jittery? Is it oscillating? Or is it very, very still? How is it moving in your body? Okay, good. Now, I want you to take your hand and still, with your eyes closed, I want you to reach inside your body and grab this anxiety wherever it is. Clutch it, bring it out in front of you in your clenched hand, just like that. Now, all the energy the anxiety was giving off in your body, in your chest, in your belly, in your neck, in your head, wherever it was, you can feel it now in your fist, in your clenched fist. You can feel it doing all the things that it was doing to you inside your body. But this time, it's inside your fist, inside your clenched hand. Now, with your mind, I'd like you to change the colour of the anxiety that's in your fist right now. If it was red, change it to a blue. If it's green, change it to yellow. If it's red, Change it to purple. You know the drill. Let's change its colour. And now I would like you to change its shape to something softer, more curved. And I would like you to change its size. I want you to make it smaller, 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 smaller than it was. Now, what I'd like you to do next is to change its energy. And this is the most important bit. If it was jittery before, I want you to make it the opposite. I want you to make it slow and undulating. If it was oscillating wildly around your body, I want you to slow that down. Just slow it down. Just slow it down. However it was moving beforehand, I want you to make it the opposite. I want you to make it calm compared to what it was before. Okay. Now, on three, two,
two, one. I want you to take this anxiety that's in your fist. I want you to put it back into your body, wherever it came from. And now you've placed it back into your body. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your anxiety now? Good. Good. You should find that your anxiety has lessened considerably, if not disappeared altogether. Now this is an exercise you can do pretty much any time of the day, wherever you are. All you need to do is take yourself off into a corner and calm yourself down with the exercise that we've just done. So now you can go about your day feeling calm, refreshed, and happy. See you next time.